Hey, what's up, guys? Let's get this thing rolling. This is Dr. Steven Judson here and uh, had a conversation with a, uh, an amazing guy this morning, a patient of ours who's been, uh, has read the book, Wake Up Humans. He uh, has been following us on social, highly educated man, and has decided to start under care with us here at, at the office at Judson Family Chiropractic. And being highly educated, well-read, uh, he said it, it, it took him a couple months listening to the podcast, uh, reading the book, to decide that he was going to come in and give this a try. So he went through the process, as they say in Canada, and he got his, uh, his, his neurocalligraph, his, his scans to let us know the nerve stress happening on his body and, and the x-rays, and it blew him away. When he got to see what he looks like on the inside. And a guy who's in a pretty influential spot in society. He's a strong man, strong-willed. And when he looked at his x-rays with me today, he was, he was blown out of his mind. Because he's been having issues for many, many years with his body. Uh, on many levels. Let's just put it that way. And of course, you know, pain, his neck pain and low back pain were one of the main things that triggered him to chiropractic. But hearing the podcast and, and reading the book, it brought him to a whole different level of possibly what could be going on in his body. So when we reviewed his films this morning, he had an aha moment because he's been to other therapists. He's been to muscle people. He's been to PT people. He went to a chiropractor for one visit uh, after a car accident. And uh, he said his words, no results. Well, no one ever took an x-ray. And for a man who wants understanding, he wanted understanding, he wanted to be educated, he wanted knowledge as to why this is happening. I said, ultimately, it comes down to this. I'm not going to heal anything in your body. Your innate is. Your innate intelligence inside of your body is just not able to express itself right now. And he said... I've heard you say that before. You, it keeps rolling off your lips, this word innate. What is that? And I said, what do you think it is? He goes, well, it's inside of me. And I said, bro, it's all inside of you. Healing is inside of you. Intelligence is inside of you. I said, the your kids at home have enough intelligence inside of them to make them function, to make them tick, to make them heal, to adapt to the environment, to digest food, to do all the processes they need to function. So what is your innate? What is this thing we call innate? Globally, it's not a metaphysical thing. It's not voodoo. It's just, it is what it is. It's what makes you tick. It's inside of each and every one of us. It's a natural intelligence that helps us adapt to the environment. That our liver that has 164 functions knows what it needs to do without you calling it up and saying do it. That whatever you just ate for lunch or breakfast this morning, your body knows how to digest it without you tapping into it. Without you doing a darn thing, it knows what it needs to do. The bacteria you breathed in last night, your body innately crushed it, killed it, so it didn't flourish inside of you and kill you, and you never knew about it. It's an intelligence you were born with when your earthly mother grew you inside of her innately. In about nine months, your mom's body created a heart, a liver, kidneys, eyes, ears, hair, it grew the sexy you from a sperm and an egg and two cells innately. The greatest intelligence in the world built you inside of your mother. To me, that is really cool. And when people understand that, that no doctor is going to heal you. But innately inside, you have all it takes to heal if you follow certain principles. And when we talk in our world of chiropractic, you talk about the brain stem and the atlas and that's where the main source is. That's the master switch of the body that either turns your power up or takes it away and takes away from your body adapting. So when we talk about this thing innate, 
Every living creature on the planet has it. How did the birds know to fly south in the winter? Who taught them to do that? Or do they just innately know how to do that? It's really cool. When animals get sick in the woods and they just lick themselves, they don't eat, they rest, they innately know what they need to do to adapt, to give their body time to heal itself. It's innate. It's amazing. Horses, dogs think when these animals get sick, they eat grass and they do these things because it makes them recurgitate, throw up, because it's a sign of healing in the body. How do they know how to do that? It's innate. And B.J. Palmer, who's one of my my favorite writers, uh, he wrote this book, Volume 18, The Subluxation Specific, Adjustment Specific. It's a real fat book. I've been reading this book and reviewing this book. Wow, I got this book back in 1995. I've got notes throughout the whole thing. I've torn pages. Man, I've had some fun with this book, baby. But when I was studying and learning what this whole innate was, and I wanted to, to I just learn. And, and how things could get messed up. Why are people the way they are? Why are they having so many issues? And one of the things that B.J. Palmer writes about is, he says... Small things are large. A slip on the sidewalk in the winter is a small thing. It happens to millions. A fall off a ladder in the summer is a small thing. It happens to millions. The slip or the fall subluxates the atlas, puts it out of alignment, pressure on the brain stem, you may not even know it. That specific subluxation is a small thing. The atlas or axis produces pressure upon the spinal cord with its trillions of nerve fibers. That pressure is a small thing. This specific pressure produces interference and reduces flow of life force. That decreased flow is a small thing. That decreased quantity flow of mental impulse supply produces a specific diseased brain or body so lack of ease disconnection between the brain and body that is a big thing to that person multiply that man or woman by a thousand and you control the physical and mental welfare of a city so how is that disconnect affecting the city Multiply that man by a million and you shape the physical and mental destiny of a state. Multiply that man by 120 million and you forecast and prophecy the mental and physical state of a nation. Where are we now as a city, a state, a nation, and a man? So that slip or fall... The creation of the specific subluxation, the atlas putting pressure on the brainstem, reduces flow to mental impulse, the brain and body communicating to itself, and a disease, disconnection, is big enough to control the thoughts and actions of a nation. So this pressure... When we talk about innate and the body being smart and communicating, connecting to the human body, it's all controlled right here between your atlas. So if you got a kid that's playing football and they get hit in the head and that atlas gets shifted and it's quietly putting pressure on the brain stem, over time decreasing mental impulse from brain cells to tissue cells in the body and you create interference, you create static and the body can't innately adapt. It can't adapt to the environment the way it was designed to do. It's the master switch of the body. And BJ goes on to talk about in this book on page 65, that switch is the great specific between the expression of God and his man. So your intelligence that created you and your expression of life. For with that switch off, when it's down, it's like a dimmer switch. God is partially absent and his man is sick, insane, criminal. Destructive thoughts and actions take place. So when this power is being interfered with between the brain and body being able to adapt and flow through life, 
and it's staticky and it's disconnected, it gives you crazy thoughts. It gives you disconnecting your cells and tissue organs of your body. And it innately, you cannot connect and reach your fullest potential. Your body can't adapt. That switch is the great specific between God and his man. It's basically the connect that God put you in to, to adapt to the environment, to stress, to life. For when that switch is on, God is entirely present. His man and his will, sane, law-abiding, and a friend in obstructive thoughts, with constructive thoughts and actions. And essentially what that's saying is, whether you believe in God or not, I do. But when you're connected from within, your body's at harmony. It's at balance. It can adapt. It's loving. It's nurturing. You have clearer thoughts. Right? People that commit crimes don't have clear thoughts. They're disconnected. And it usually starts with a subluxation. The dimmer switches down. The power is off. Negative thoughts come in. Negative actions. A bad story. And it makes people do bad things. Loving, nurturing, healthy, vibrant people don't do bad things because they're full of life. They want to give life to others. Innately, they're connected. Innately, they're full of life. Innately, they're full of love the way that God designed us to be. The Atlas or Axis switch lever is a small The Atlas Axis switch lever is a small thing but it is mighty. Flood gates open millions of gallons of water to millions of desert arid acres and make them bloom and yield fruit and cereals to feed the world when it's all well hydrated baby when it's flowing. But that's a small thing compared to the switch lever specific which open and keep paths to transmission of unlimited intellectuality between the source and God and expression in man. So the expression of life through your body, your children's body, your, your baby's body to adapt to the environment, to all the stresses and things going on, innately being able to adapt. That make millions of men, muscles and minds work normally. That's how big a knowledge this specific of subluxation is. And how the knowledge of the adjustment is. If that dimmer switches off, if the power is out, it's dying out within your body, your child's body, your loved one's body, and the brain and body can't communicate and adapt to the environment anymore, life is leaving the body. The role is to keep your innate as connected as possible. People talk about mind, body, spirit. The spirit is the number one essence. The thing that we come into this earthly plane with is to keep that connected. Because innately, this is what's going to help us flow and live a life of abundance. It's where it's all at. This is what your innate is. It's that most abundant intelligence inside of you that I believe God blew into you when you came to this earth to say, good luck, baby, stay as connected to this as you can. Because when we disconnect, life gets disoriented. It gets diseased, lack of ease. It gets more difficult. And when your innate is not expressed to your fullest potential, whatever that is for you, life gets harder. It gets more difficult, right? If you like country music and you're riding around listening to 92.5 and you hit a bump and it squirts over to 92.6, and you're hearing bits and pieces of the music because you're not connected to the satellite, to the source, to the intelligence that's making that music pump through your car. And now Zach Brown is just all <laughs> staticky, <laughs> cold <laughs> weather. <laughs> you're not going to sit there listening to it more. You're going to reach down and turn that dial. You're going to adjust it a little bit. Until you've got the connection and your music's connected and you can get back to your happy flow of listening to Zach Brown sing colder weather. And you can roll down your window and jam and be happy and fulfilled and not staticky. That's our innate, man. Keep that baby connected. Keep the flow. Have your children as connected to this source and teach them about it. They have every answer of abundance within them to be financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually, health abundant in life. If they're connected to that innate and they let that baby flow unobstructed, that's what God gave you on this planet to live to your fullest potential. 
and to kick ass in life. No one has the right to try to take that away from you and you should not let anyone near that. It's your choice to be connected, to live naturally free, spiritually connected, and loving, loving, loving every moment of your journey on this planet. Free of toxins, free of drugs, free at last, baby. When you're connected to your innate, life is freaking awesome. Get to know it, study it, own it, own you. And stay connected to your innate. Because when you're connected and your family's connected, life is abundant and so much better. Be healthy, my friends. Your innate loves you. It comes from above, down, inside out. You just got to nurture it. How's your Atlas? <laughs>